Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Excel Video 296. I'm Nate Moore. One of the things I did for that group in Indiana I was telling you about last week was do an anesthesia concurrency calculation so they can figure out where they are with their CRNAs and make sure they're coding and using the modifiers appropriately. When you're ready for custom formulas to make sure you're running your practice appropriately, let's talk. We're going to play a little bit more with grouping today. Remember last time we grouped our docs into some PCPs and some specialists? You're not limited to grouping at just one level. You can kind of create a tree of groups, if you will. Let me show you what I mean. Let's assume that we want to distinguish between PCPs and specialists. So we're going to group orthopedic surgeons and the cardiology docs. What we're going to do is when we select those two, we'll go back to options and group again. And now Excel is going to give me another group too, like we did last time. But notice the kind of the hierarchy here where I've got group two and inside that is orthopedics and cardiology. So I'm going to go to group two and call these specialists. And then I've got over here, I've got doctor two again. So I'm going to do field settings and these are specialists. And let's just click OK. Now I've got specialists, then I keep track of their specialty, and I've got doctors. Now watch what happens if I pull specialists over here. Now what I have is, here's my PCPs, and here's my specialists, and I can see that my specialists are made up of my orthopedic docs and my cardiologists, and there's my PCPs right there. So you can group multiple levels as you choose to and make it as, I, well, I don't want to say as complicated as you want it to be, because you don't need too many groups to make it confusing. But you can put groups of groups together to get exactly what you're looking for in the group. I want to show you one more thing in this video, and that's this. If you decide, you know what, I'm going to put these specialists back, and that really doesn't help me to have that group there. What you can do is come back there and do an ungroup and get rid of it. And if you wanted to ungroup these docs, you could as well. It's just a matter of doing group and ungroup to get exactly the grouping you're looking for. That's how you group text. A little bit more complicated than dates because you have to name that group one, group two thing. You have to come over here and name these fields. But it's very powerful to group. I've grouped uh, CPT codes like E&M coding groups to say, all right, these are my well child and my sick child groups, things like that. I've grouped locations and physicians and referring physicians by practice or by specialty or by uh, location. I've grouped patients by uh, zip code or city or there's a bunch of different ways you can group things and get exactly the analysis you need here's how to do it stay tuned next time i want to show you another thing you can do with these groups thanks for watching